You surely love to save time and effort. I don't want to be mean. I'm just like you. That's why I'm going to teach you guys three different ways of installing Bootstrap. I'm Duke Vegas and watch until the end so you understand these three best ways of installing Bootstrap and understand also the cons and pros of each one. The first thing that we are going to do is going to open Bootstrap page. Of course, click the first link and go to the read the docs. And here you have the quick start and you have these include bootstrap css and javascript yes you just need to copy this one to the copy board then go to the yes studio code create a new file called index.html the file name doesn't matter and just paste it all it is the default structure of html but with the css and javascript included of course if you come here and go to the bootstrap page if you do already have a file which has already a lot of content and you just can't copy and paste this, you copy this link here up to the end, just copy this and put it in the head of the document and copy this script here up to the end and just paste it above the end of the body. Now with this installed, let's try to use something up, like an accordion, okay? Let's try an accordion. Let's just copy this all and come here after the hello world. Now we are going to open here the go live server and we are going to come here and there we go the hello world with the accordion items the bootstrap is both installed and working and one thing that's really important about cdn that's worth to mention is that the cdn is really fast to install you just need to copy paste and it's already installed you don't even need to download anything at all because we are using the cdn the content delivery network which will send us everything through internet so if you don't have internet this is not going to work and another thing is that it will be faster in case of size because it will have a smaller size but website itself navigating through pages and loading them will take a little bit more time depending on the connection and depending on where you are relatively in the globe not if you are at the room or if you are at the bathroom it doesn't matter then jumping to the second way of installing bootstrap we are going to come here to the download. In the download, the first, the first, first, first one is going to be the compiled CSS and JavaScript. So just download it. I've already downloaded it in my downloads, but I'm going to put it somewhere else. I already have it in my documents and I'm going to open it. And with this open, we want to also come here. I'm just going to remove everything up from the index and I'm going to click here in reveal in Explorer so I know where this stuff is. Now we are going to open this bootstrap if and five dot two dot zero if and dist open and select both pages and drag them after dragging them you can already close this zip and we are going to minimize this page and we can see that we got two folders which are the dependencies of the bootstrap the main ones are usually the ones that only have the name itself not utilities nor maps nor anything else just the bootstrap.css so to install it we are going to put here the exclamation mark, enter, and here we have the default structure. To install the CSS, we need to put here a link, and the link needs to have the reference to the path. And the path, in this case, is going to be CSS slash, go a little bit down, and bootstrap only. Do the same thing to the script and the source, and we are going to put here the JS slash bootstrap.js. And we've already installed as well the bootstrap. So let's just try it out with something different, the alerts. Just copy paste, minimize, paste here. Now, just come in here and bootstrap is already installed as well because of course, as you may imagine, HTML doesn't have such complex design, okay? So this way, this method of compiled CSS and JavaScript is going to be faster on loading pages but it will take a little bit more size on the folder itself on the document in the whole website and it's going to take a little bit more time downloading and installing it but it can be really useful either way because if you are starting a new project as a beginner this is the best way the cdn is like when you want to try it out or you want to install it in a legacy project next we are going to go to the package managers and the one we are going to use is the npm. You can also put with yarn, composer, nugget, ruby gems. There are a lot of them, but we are going to use the npm because it's the easier one in this case. So just come here, just write here the node GS, which is going to be the, the npm I was talking about. Just come to the LTS, which is going to be the co most current one. Click here, I'm going to 
remove, of course, because I've already installed it. And just install it, really easy. After that, you can come here uh, again, copy this to the clipboard and come here to the Visual Studio Code. I'm just going to delete everything that I don't need. This is going to click it, just leave it as it was and click in the terminal, new terminal and come here and check if the path is correct. It might be, but cannot be. Here install bootstrap is the folder that I have in my workspace, so it's right. Now I'm going to paste it, enter, and in this way we are going to install only the bootstrap from the nodes. Instead of installing all the npm with npm install, oh, I'm writing in the wrong place, instead of coming here and put this, don't put this because it will take a lot of time because it's around some gigabytes just to install the whole packages of the npm. So just come here and in the dist, in the CSS and JavaScript are just the same as we had previously. Now the license, it doesn't matter, the, the package, the readme, it doesn't, doesn't matter at all. Just come here to the index file and here a lot of people manage their folders differently. They have the source, they have the assets, they have a lot of different things. But this is a complete beginner guide. If you want just to install it straight away, it's what I'm going to do. But if you want to go a little bit deeper with the structure that you like, I'm going to teach you some tricks. First, here in the href, which is the path, if you need to go to the previous page, just put two dots and a slash. If you want to go two folders before, you just put two dots, slash, two dots, slash. And with this Studio code, you will have not any problem with it at all because it will help you when finding stuff, okay? So now we are going to put here, you can put either the slash or you can put just the node modules. And after the node modules, you can put the bootstrap. And as you can see, yes, it's for plural node modules because we usually install a lot of them with the npm install. But because I'm using this command here, we only install the bootstrap. Now we are going to put the next one, which is going to be the dist distribution folder, which will have the dependencies. And then CSS. After the CSS, just come down here, the default one, and the CSS is already linked. Now we are going to also link the script with a source, which is going to be node modules. Modules, exactly, slash. Now bootstrap, distribution folder, JavaScript, and down here we are going to put here the bootstrap.javascript. Of course, you can come here and now close the button. No, this is not good. Collapse, collapse, yes. This should be nice, yes, nice. We are going, just going to paste this to show you guys that it is already installed. So come here, reload the page, link with ref, button with data BS. Okay, this is going to simply be using the anchor and this is going to be use the button. Doesn't matter at all. The npm install, it's better if you have already some experience with npm and you're going to create a project with other node modules components such as using Vue.js framework or Angular or anything else from the nodes. Of course, this is going to be a little bit faster than installing the compiling, I think, yes, compiled CSS and JavaScript, and it will take a little bit more time than the CDN, but it's going to be the best from the two universes. Of course, if you want to create a really but really big project, of course, this is a complete beginner guide, you will need to copy all of this link and the script every time you want to create a new page. If you want to learn more about Bootstrap, I have a whole list that you can just click and jump and learn a lot about it. And lastly, if you guys enjoyed and want me to create a video about the folder management or about the SaaS and the dynamic way of linking stuff instead of always putting this and etc, just leave a comment, please leave a like, subscribe and see you soon.